Hello, this is Chad, and today we are going to talk about setting your features on Pentair's IntelliFlow VSF variable speed pump. The features um, are basically what is considered your quick clean button and your timeout button. When the pump is running, if you press your timeout button, it will turn the pump off for a set amount of time that you uh, program into the pump. Once that time has expired, it will automatically turn your pump back on to the programs that are set in the pump. The reason this is a benefit is if you were to come over and just stop the pump like I've done now, you'll see that it actually says stopped up here. And if you happen to forget to come and press the start stop button again to reactivate the pump, the pump basically won't do anything. So the timeout button is nice for uh, when you're out swimming in the pool and you don't want the cleaning system running or you want, you know, it just to be uh, a nice quiet uh, swim or, or if the kids don't like the vacuum running around, the timeout button works wonderful for that. On the other hand, the quick clean button obviously does the opposite. We'll set up the quick clean button to run a certain speed. And what the quick clean button is good for, especially here in the Arizona market, it's great for monsoon season. Um, you can set it up to a speed that makes your cleaning system operate, whether that's pop-ups or, or your vacuum that goes around the floor. Um, you can set this guy up to run for a set amount of time, be it an hour, two hours, three hours, or anything along those lines. Add a set speed, uh, monsoons rolling in, we can come over here and hit the quick clean button and let the pool do a good job of cleaning itself while it's getting dirty versus trying to go through the hassle of uh, the mess that's left afterwards. So let's get into it. The first thing we'll want to do is hit your menu button to get into your menus. And then you can either press the up or the down arrow to get to your features button. Once there, press the select button to go into that menu. And you will see that the timeout is your first uh, option. If you press the up or down arrow, you'll find that the quick clean is your other option. And those are the only two options that you'll have in this menu. So to program your timeout, go ahead and press the select button. This one's pretty straightforward. You have uh, hours and minutes on how long of a duration that you want the pump to stop while you are swimming in the pool. So for instance, uh, if I know that me and my kiddos like to come out and uh, on, a, on a Saturday afternoon and, and swim until until dinner time and that they don't want the, the cleaner running while that's going on, I can come in here and I can say, hey, I want to put this, instead of at two hours, I want to put it at four hours. Once you make your selection, you press the save button to allow that selection or all that change to stay. So again, you press the select button be able to go in and make changes to your times. Press the save button to make those changes stick. And that's really all there is to the timeout side of things. Now to go in and program your quick clean, we will hit the back arrow and we'll either press the up or down arrow to get to quick clean. Once in quick clean, we'll press select to get into that menu. From here, you'll see that you can set a type. Now with this VSF pump, you can choose either flow, which allows you to program the pump in gallons per minute, or you can, or you can select speed, which allows you to program the pumps in RPMs. In this particular pool, we have a, a suction side cleaner or a vacuum running around. So I usually program this pump with gallons per minute or the flow style. Once you select which of the two you prefer, you simply hit the save button 
to allow that change to stay. And then you press the up or down arrow to now set uh, the speed that you want this guy to run at. If you had set this to speed, uh, you would have an RPM setting here. So with the flow, you can see that this is currently set for 50 gallons per minute. I usually like to set my quick clean to be the same speed as my cleaning speed or my high speed in my programming. So for instance, if I had set this pump to run at a high speed to make my vacuum work uh, at 45 gallons per minute, I would come in here and simply hit the select button and press the up or down arrow to get to the number that I would like and press the save button to save your changes. From there, you can press the down arrow again and you'll see it asks you, well, how long would you like your quick clean to run? What's the duration of your quick clean? Uh, for the size play pool that we have going here, about a 12, 15,000 gallon play pool, usually running that vacuum for three hours. Uh, if the vacuum's in good working order is enough to do what we need to do to clean the bottom of this pool. However, if you wanted to change it, you would simply press the select button and set the amount of hours or minutes that you would prefer to change it, or that you would prefer it to run, sorry. Simply press the save button when you're done. And that is how you set your quick clean and your timeout in the features menu of your pump. When you're all done, you basically hit the start button to allow the pump to turn back on and run in its uh, scheduled mode. Give this guy a quick minute while he catches a prime. There we go. And we can see we're running flow six, which is at a lower gallon per minute run than my quick clean. So if for whatever reason I had uh, a guest coming over or you had a storm coming in, you could simply come out here and press your quick clean button prior to that happening. And you'll see down on this little menu here that this is your set gallon per minute and that this is your actual. So you'll see that that is ramping itself up to the 45 gallon per minute. Quite the opposite, how if you wanted this pump to turn off for a set amount of time without having to press the stop button, simply press the timeout and you will see that the timer starts for the timeout. The good news here is when you press either the quick clean or the timeout, when they are all done running, they will automatically go back to your scheduled programs. So you don't have to worry about coming back over to the pump and doing anything else. If you have uh, any questions or other uh, features that you would like to see, please comment below and I will answer to the best of my ability. Take care and have a great day.